Guys, in today's society, everyone's like, oh, just, just love yourself the way you are. You don't need to change at all. You know, you may be 100 pounds overweight, loads of health conditions, bloated. You don't like the way you look. You feel like crap, binging on junk food constantly, but don't worry. Love yourself. You don't, don't, you don't need to change for anyone. You don't, you don't need to change for yourself. You don't need to change for anyone else. You don't need to self-improve. You don't need to look after your fitness, your eating habits. Nah, nah. You should just accept yourself. You go, Timmy, or you go, girl. This is not good. You know, the average dude, we get, we just get fed a, an unhealthy diet of BS. It makes us complacent in every area of life. It's not just fitness. You know, where people walking around, you could clearly not looking after themselves. You know, clearly not looking after their diet. Guys, that's like one of the most important thing we have is our, is our health. If not, it is the important thing. What you have without your health, and you just being pandered to just to make everyone feel good and, and, and feel nice inside every day, it, that's not helping anyone. You need to tell people the truth. You got high cholesterol, high blood pressure, whatever heart conditions or increased risk of these conditions because you're eating too much, you're overweight. You need to sort it out. But if you say that to someone these days, you know, they don't want to hear it. Like, if you, if you just say, oh, just, you know, go for more walks or just eat a bit less, you know, you'll make you feel good, you know, more confident. They'd be like, Jamie, Jamie just called me fat. And then they'll all start shouting and screaming at you. Da, 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 da. How could you say this? I only said, you know, I was just trying to help. I, just, I didn't call someone directly fat. Just said it would help. Just lost a bit of weight, you know, feel better about themselves and reduce the risk of medical complications further down the line. Your health is the most important thing we have. Let's be honest. You can have everything in the world, money, an amazing lifestyle. If you don't have your health and you're gonna pass in like three years, you know what I mean? But a lot of people would just rather complain and not do anything about it and blame everyone else for their problems, you know? Pointing the finger at everyone else, not knowing there's three fingers pointing back at themselves. Oh, I don't have the time, even though I spend all my time in the evening watching Netflix or whatever. Oh, I'm just not feeling it today. I don't feel motivated, so I'll start tomorrow. Then tomorrow comes around, and they don't go tomorrow because you're not motivated tomorrow. Like, your motivation doesn't come straight away like that. Motivation usually comes when you see some sort of result or something like that. You know, you drag your ass to the gym. You keep going, you keep going, you keep going. You feel a bit better about yourself. You feel a bit more confident, and then the motivation kicks in. You look in the mirror, you're like, ooh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some results now. You know, I'm seeing something good. I like what I see. Then you get that motivation and that pushes you forward. And then you keep going, keep going, keep going. It's the discipline, okay, that you need to build up. And then the motivation comes in little spurts now and again. You don't just get motivated every day. No one's motivated every day unless they're seeing these results, whether that's in their fitness or their bank balance or in dating relationships, whatever. Now, a lot of people these days are, are finally just being complacent and pretending like, they don't have any responsibility for their own life and their own decisions and their actions because they can just blame other people for why they're not where they want to be in life. And obviously like the softness of the culture and the, the pandering and then the lack of father figures and the masculine figures and then the whole like, this, well this is for the UK, you just have like a big drinking problem as well. And all that combined, that just doesn't help, does it? Let's be honest. That doesn't help you, you know, strive towards your, your, your goals and visions and where you want to be in life. That just makes you kind of wishy-washy. You don't know where you're going. You're on a boat and you're just kind of floating. You don't know where the destination is. You're just kind of floating around. And then you add alcohol to that. Your brain's all fuzzed up. You feel depressed. You feel down the next day. Maybe some anxiety because all well, your hormones are out of whack. So you can clearly see why people are in this situation. And then, like I said, people settle for a job they hate. They don't know where they're going in life. They don't know what they want to do. They haven't really thought about it before because they're just being reactive to the environment, not proactive, okay? Not inputting their will, inputting their will on the world. They just to re react to the environment. What? Oh, so, oh, there's a punch being thrown this way, metaphorically. I'm, I have to dodge that now. Instead of you moving forward, you know, into the punches, dodging around and then giving an uppercut. And then they also may have a relationship they hate, or, or they drown their sorrows on the weekend, just constantly drinking, like I said, with the whole UK drinking culture, beers, beers, beers every weekend. It's fine to go out, enjoy yourself, 
by all means, you know, you need to enjoy yourself in life as well. You need to balance. I don't, I don't care about, you know, toxic hustle culture. I don't really, I'm not one for that. Guys, on your journey of self-improvement, things like that, or your fitness journey, you're going to want to celebrate and enjoy yourself as well. Just don't make it interfere with what you want to do in life and your goals, okay? Just have it on the side, you know? You, you do your thing, you know, whatever that passion is or whatever you want to do in life, and then you can enjoy yourself on the side. You know, go out every now and again and, and do what you like to do. You know what separates you and puts you in, like, the, the top 10% of men? Is fitness. Having an amazing physique. You walk down the street on a daily basis. You think of this right now. You're walking down the street, you go to the shop, or you go to the gym, or university, school, or your job, whatever it is. You take a look around. I can guarantee you, not many of those people are rocking a great looking physique. Like, you can see the shape. You'll only find those people in areas where people work out, for example. You go in the gym, you're going to see more of these people. That's obviously, that's obvious, because those types of people turn up to the gym. But on a day-to-day -day basis, you're walking down the street, just take a look around and you'll know what I mean. You see someone with a great physique commands respect. You know they have some self-respect for themselves. They take care of themselves. Because it takes discipline, sacrifice, or self-investment to even obtain that physique, let alone just, you know, maintain it over the months or, or years or however long they've had that physique for. But most people won't do that because it's too hard. Or they're riddled with excuses. Or they say, oh, I'm going to sort my diet out. And then they go on some stupid stupid really low calorie diet and then they can't stick to it so they give up within a week stupid things like that when all it has to be like fitness is a lifestyle you just incorporate it into your lifestyle it's just something you do you turn up you may have a crap workout it is what it is but at least you turned up and then you just keep showing up and keep showing up and keep showing up and then you know you start to see results you feel better in yourself you feel confident your self-esteem goes up and it helps other areas of life you've got more confidence in yourself in your career, you have more confidence in yourself to go for a higher paying job or a different job opportunity. In relationships, you're more confident in dating. You carry yourself a bit differently now. You're becoming a different person. But like I said again, most people in this world aren't willing to put the work in and do what it takes. They'd rather be riddled with excuses, be pandered to, sit there, just eat themselves to death, and then blame everyone else for their stupid life choices, life decisions. Guys, on a day-to-day -day basis, we make so many decisions, okay? People need to be accountable for what decisions they're making on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, I've gone for that donut, you know? Oh, I've gone for that ice cream. Oh, I've gone for that chocolate bar. Oh, I've gone for these oats. I've gone for this banana as a snack. I've gone for this peanut butter. We all make little decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, I've gone, I've made this decision to go for a walk after work. Or go to the gym after work. Or I've made the decision to lie in bed, slob around because I'm not motivated. Or I've made the decision to eat like 5,000 calories worth of pancakes today because I'm feeling a bit down and sad today. Because someone else... Da, da, da. The decisions we make, guys, it's all on you. Take responsibility and accountability for your life. And if you start doing that, you start to realize you can mold and change your life. It's not everyone else. You know, it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. Lads, if you haven't already started your fitness journey, I urge you to start. Because it's not just the vanity in the mirror and how you look, you know, you keep building a bit of muscle, you know. It's, it's the mindset that comes with it. You become more confident, self-esteem goes up, self-belief, okay. You start molding to your stronger character, into the version of yourself that you want to be. And it's also for your health as well. And health, like, without health, what do we have? And lads, you want to separate yourself from... 90% of men these days, you want to be in that top 10%? Sort out your fitness, okay? Sort out your physique. It makes a massive difference. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, why not watch another one? I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You got this.